What do you think of the hype surrounding the receiving core? I understand you guys have a nickname you call yourself the crew. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what we are. But uh, the hype, I mean, we definitely uh, we don't mind because we want the, we want the pressure on our shoulders. So, you know, we, we we tell ourselves that you know um, we're expected to do things that so why not live up to them? Who came up with a nickname? Um, Soup. 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 Came from Coach Ample. Okay. How have you guys dealt with, I guess, all the fanfare that's like going into this season? And I, I, I mean this like as a team because obviously last year there were some high expectations going in, but may, maybe not necessarily looking at the Orange Bowl, whereas now a lot of people are looking at you as a team that's contending. Well, definitely, uh, we know each, you know after the year following uh, the 09, I mean the 08 season, we knew that we were going to have some expectations, and the way we did one was to make sure that during the off season and those things that you try not to think about the hype, and you just make sure that you. Don't don't get complacent, and that's a big thing that we uh, we need to stay focused on because we we know we almost lost the first game last year, and you can't look down on any opponent that we come face against. How much does that sit with you? You, you mentioned the U and I game. How much does that sit with you when you go into this week in this season, knowing that hey, we were fortunate last year? And I mean, yeah, you definitely know that uh, you have that feeling that last year we we didn't come out and do the things we need to do, and almost got beat uh, early in the season. So really, we our focus on this year is to make sure that. We come out every game with the intention to, to to play as hard as we can, starting out the gate rather than waiting to the last second to block a field goal. Now, when, when the Big Ten Network was here last week, your practice, or two weeks ago, I should say, they uh, made mention of your one-handed catch. They showed that. You had anybody come up to you about that? or? Oh, more, mostly uh, family back at home. Mostly um, family. Yeah. What are they saying? Well, he was like, great catch, but uh, <laughs> stop showboating after you can't make a catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's just like... Uh, and no, nobody like no students or anybody on campus coming up to you saying, "Oh, that was a hell." No, I haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't heard anything. I don't think people really know notice me. I'm not a big noticeable guy like Adrian is in public. You, you, you don't say. You don't think you're noticeable even after the catch you made against Michigan State, though? Uh, yes, I was then. <laughs> kind of died down now. Marvin, can you talk about Cavante and what he's looked like as a true freshman? Yes, Devontae sh uh, definitely shows some huge strides as a freshman. Um, he's he's made plays. He, he's almost in the same position as Keenan was last year. Well, you all you all you know his playmaking ability. He's just like kind of young mentally, and um, he but uh, definitely he's a playmaker, and uh, I feel like he'd be a, a great uh, a great part of the addition of our receiving core. Do you think he'll play this year? Um, yeah. I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. Yeah, that's coach. What did you guys learn from last year's season opener? And